Entertainment Tonight, the most watched entertainment news program in the world. J-Lo, Cameron, Jim, and Jennifer, and they're all coming straight to one reporter. I'm not allowed to bite you, right? Jersey girl Raquel Castro takes the E.T. mic and breaks some hearts. My favorite scene of yours is when you go, I like big butts and give me that laugh. I'm falling in love with you, kid. And wait till you see how George Clooney spent the weekend. Soaps, too sexy for TV, an insider investigation. Did one show go too far? The man in the middle of the controversy speaks out. Nobody wants to be caught with their pants down. Plus, why another Osborne's going to rehab. And why an Ally McBeal star was rushed to the hospital. JFK and Jackie's marriage. Vanity Fair goes inside their private world. What you haven't heard about the affairs. The latest CSI spinoff. And we're first on the set of CSI New York. I got CSI New York and it's freezing here. Plus, Kojo and Uma. A meeting of the minds? I'm hopelessly shallow and vain. Oh, we're going to get along <laughs> famously. <laughs> Maria Menounos. Our top story tonight, Bob Doan is back from his honeymoon. Yeah. Welcome back, Bob, and congratulations to you and Maria. Thank you very much, and thank you all for all your well wishes. Believe me, I am a lucky man, but let's get to it. Cameron Diaz did the booty dance. Jim Carrey was embarrassed. And our special correspondent, Jersey Girls Raquel Castro, went backstage at Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Award. E.T. is backstage at Kids' Choice Awards, and all the stars are stopping by. You know, you're uh, very adorable, right? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not allowed to bite you, right? Mm, I, I don't think so. Mike Myers and Cameron Diaz hosted the show, and like everyone else, Mike couldn't resist Raquel's charm. You're so sweet, I want to bite you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've been Ben Affleck's co-star, and you've been Ben Affleck's co-star. Yes, of course. Well, how is it working with him? I think he is a dork and a dodo. He's a lot of fun, but I don't like to admit that to him. Mostly, I think he's weird. How about you? I don't know. He's very, he's very tall. Very nice and tall. The tall guy skipped the awards and was gambling in Las Vegas with pal Matt Damon. Hey, I'm not getting smart. At Kids' Choice, Ben's ex, Jennifer Lopez, waved to our ET cameras after presenting an award with George Lopez. Oh, by the way, I, um, I got some of your mail by mistake. Hi. You have a root canal on Thursday. I do. Yeah. And, you know, Ben wants you to call him back. <laughs> As one of our littlest correspondents ever, we found the best way for Raquel to meet the stars eye to eye was to put her on a ladder. Nice shoes. Love them. <laughs> I showed Jim Carrey my impression of him. My favorite movie is yours is Liar Lion. I can do an impression of you. Oh, yeah? That is blue. That is red. That is blue. I can't lie. All right. <laughs> I'm a horrible example for the youth of America. Horrible example. Was it good? It was excellent. And the favorite movie actor did his impression of Raquel. Hi. I would like to know about show business. Hi. I'm Cameron. I know. Cameron found a fan in Raquel who shared her favorite Charlie's Angels moment with the star. My favorite scene of yours is when you go, I like big butts and you can hear that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Of course, when you hear that song, what happens? Your butt starts moving, right? <laughs> yeah. Just keeps going, you have no control over it, right? You're just like, uh-oh. <laughs> I can't get my butt out there yet, but I'm trying. Backstage, we caught Laker Rick Fox as doting dad snuggling with his daughter. The American Idol finalists were latecomers. They snuck in while Outkast was performing. The idols made their way inside as Andre 3000 flew in for a special performance featuring his son Seven. But Judge Paula Abdul took a moment to talk. We have the Oscars and the Emmys and just Kid Choice Awards. Why do you want to be a part of it? Because I'm a kid at heart, just like you. And I love to be here because I'm, I'm on one of the shows that every kid and every adult loves, which is American Idol. I was like number one fan. I'm like, oh! Raquel met plenty of her own idols, but most everyone agreed that she had something special. You're a great, great, great interviewer. Thank you. One day, I'd like to do just a one-on-one -on -one exclusive, kind of Barbara Walters style. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Why don't you just skip school and go straight to work? <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> yes. And she didn't miss an opportunity to drum up a little business from the wannabe award winner. I'm falling in love with you, kid. I, I hope to see you again. 
okay. Hope to do a movie with you. Me and you gotta do something. Go ahead. <laughs> it's so great being at the Kids' Choice Awards. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, you guys. Now, Raquel, you rocked at this. I even learned a thing or two from you. And rocker Kelly Osborne checks into rehab. That's story chops tonight's news link.